children and welcome to another math lesson. Last week you worked really hard learning how to use different efficient mental methods to subtract. This week we're going to be calculating with greater numbers. So rather than using mental methods, we're going to learn how to use different written methods to calculate instead. Today we're going to carry on using finding the difference method. Last week you did it mentally, but because the numbers are going to be greater today, we're going to be using a number line to help us find the difference. I'm going to show you how to do it now. We find the difference when the two numbers in the calculation are close together. Can you remember the song we learned about what we call these two numbers? This number here is the minuend, and then we subtract the subtrahend. The minuend and the subtrahend are fairly close together. So I'm going to find the difference by using a number line. The subtrahend goes on the left hand side, and the greatest number, the minuend, goes on the right hand side. I now need to count on from 678 to 706, and I'm going to use my number bonds to help me. The first number I'm going to jump to is going to be 680, a multiple of 10. I've added 2 to get there. I'm now going to try and get to the next multiple of 100, which is 700. I need to add 20 to get to 700. I'm nearly there. The difference between 700 and 706 is 6. To work out my overall difference, I need to add the numbers that I counted on. 20, add 6 is 26, add 2 is 28. So my overall difference is 28. Let's look at another one. 4,952 subtract 4,939. Look carefully at the two numbers and you'll see that they are fairly close together. So the most efficient method is to find the difference using a number line. The subtrahend goes on the left hand side and the greatest number, the minuend, goes on the right hand side. Now it's time to count on from the subtrahend to the minuend. Going to get to the next multiple of 10 first, which will be 4,940. I only need to add one. Where have I got to get to? Ah, I'm going to add a 10 to help me to get to 4,950. It's really important you put your numbers at the bottom of the number line so that you know what number you are on. I only need to add two more to get to that end number. My overall difference is 10, add 2 which is 12, add 1 which is 13. My overall difference is 13. It's time for you to go and try some calculations now. Watch the video again if you're finding it a little bit tricky and there will also be an example on your home learning sheet as well. Work hard children.